Hello, and welcome back to our series where we are dissecting the order names, where we are going through them, and we're talking about how some of the novel features that are evolved not only help the bug, but help you identify the order and where the order name comes from. Today, we are going to be talking about the most biodiverse animal on the planet, the one that has over 400,000 species described in this group, and more are being added every single day. Yes, friends, today we are talking about the beetles. Beetles are in the order Coleoptera. Terra, by this point, you should be shouting into your screen, means wing, and coleo means sheath. And that is because the four wings have been hardened into a structure called the elytra plural, or an elytron, singular, to fold over and protect the hind wings. That is right, all of the beetle's flight is done with the hind wings because the four wings have been hardened into the shell. And that's a pretty impressive feat considering the fact that some beetles can literally weigh more than a rat and still fly around with just its hind wings. This elytra, this hardened forewing, has probably allowed beetles to become the most biodiverse. There are other insects as well that protect their hind wings with a hardened forewing, but none of them do them to the extent that the beetles do. So grasshoppers and cockroaches and mantises have like a leathery forewing, and another group called the Heteroptera have a half like hardened leathered wing and then a half membranous wing that goes over the hind wings. But none of them are as strong as what you can find in the beetles. And both of those things that I just talked about we'll save for a different video. This shell is so important and probably helps beetles be the most biodiverse group. Not only can beetles fly, so if the going gets tough where you are, you still have your wings to just go somewhere else, just leave, goodbye friends, <laughs> but also because that hard shell allows you to infiltrate and occupy niches or environments that maybe aren't available to other insects. For example, beetles can get underground, they can get in logs, they can get under leaf litter, and that's because that hard shell helps protect those delicate hind wings and helps protect the body. So you can wiggle into these really tight, difficult environments to live in. It also explains why you can find beetles in some of the harshest environments like deserts, right? That shell helps protect you from water loss. There's even an example of a beetle that can condense the water from the air onto its shell and just drink that and that allows it to be able to live in the desert where there's almost no water. Hardened forewing is great for you for like protecting you and your assets and lets you occupy all these new environments. However, it is a little awkward when you have to fly. Since they are the forewing, the, the beetle shell, the elytra, do flap. And that's just the way that beetles fly in general, which if you're interested in insect flight in general and the different kinds, we can talk about that in another video. But just for now, the beetle, when it flies, the, the elytra also flap. So they have to hold the elytra out of the way. Their hind wings extend. The hind wings like start flapping, but so do the forewings, that shell. And they're just like held up kind of awkward. Obviously that doesn't make you very aerodynamic. Beetles tend to bump into things. They tend to just kind of crash a lot. They're not getting anywhere fast and they're definitely not getting there elegantly, but because they're so hardened, it like doesn't really matter. There are a few exceptions. For example, the rainbow scarab beetle will put the elytra down and it can lock in place. And these are usually reserved for beetles that have to fly long distances or flight is really important to their biology, more so than just like, oh, life kind of is crappy here or you'd find a mate, go somewhere else slightly further away. Because beetles are so biodiverse, of course you can find beetles that have lost their wings entirely. The elytra has been lost or significantly reduced, like in the staphylinids, the rove beetles, or you can find beetles where the elytra is just slightly softer than some of your big armored tanks. So for example, soldier beetles or fireflies are also beetles, but their elytra is very soft. It just depends on the environment that the beetle is living in. Obviously with 400,000 beetles, there's lots of exceptions, but that hardened elytra was a novel feature that evolved quite a long time ago and is seen in the common ancestor of all modern beetles and is what the order is named after. So there you have it, Coleoptera, the sheathed winged insects. 